Forceps or vacuum extractors are tools that we use to try and achieve uh, our top goals, which are healthy baby and healthy mom. So we don't routinely use them. Uh, we anticipate that mom will be able to push baby out in a timely fashion and uh, that everything will go well. But we do have them as tools to aid us because sometimes uh, delivery needs to happen a little faster then mom is able to push the baby out. Uh, for example, if the baby's heart rate falls and doesn't recover spontaneously, sometimes we do have to uh, get baby delivered quicker. And if the baby's head is far enough down in the birth canal that it's safe to uh, help the baby out vaginally, then either a suction cup on the head for the vacuum extractor or forceps around the head um, can make that much safer uh, for baby and much quicker. Um, both methods come with a little bit of risk. The vacuum extractor can, uh, by virtue of applying suction to the baby's head, can break some little blood vessels and so they develop what's called a cephal hematoma, a little collection of blood under the, the skin of the scalp. Um, generally not dangerous, but uh, the pediatrician would want to watch that baby uh, fairly carefully. With forceps, there's generally not much risk to the baby as long as you can tell what position the baby's in. The forceps actually come across the head and over the cheekbones, so there's a, a nice place for the forceps to pull while mom is pushing. But uh, the forceps can uh, cause a little tearing for mom in the vagina that might not otherwise happen. So you wouldn't use them just by choice. You'd use them if you need to, to make things safer for baby or to help mom have a vaginal delivery instead of a C-section, if that's appropriate.